All right, this is going to be a short little quick review of the Ready Shack digital multimeter. It's the pocket version. Retails for about $30, which is what I paid for mine. You open it up, you have um, your controls, your little leads, which go down there. They are not replaceable, not uh, interchangeable. You can't take them off, say, with some other voltmeters. Um, so it's auto ranging digital which I prefer auto range and digital uh, definitely prefer auto range and digital uh, makes it a lot easier this is this is a great little voltmeter I use it for everything that I can except for a lot of times that these leads get to be just a bit too short they're probably about a foot in length I believe so they're not very long um, to reference here tailgate reference them on the tailgate tip of the tailgate basically to pretty much the other end of the tailgate um, so I'll go over with a little bit of what it can do you go you slide the switch over one and that's your, your voltage it automatically goes in between AC and DC uh, so it, it, you don't have to do any switching there you actually, I think you can actually select it. Yeah, you can have it to. Oh, this is the the milli voltage or the milli um, volt reading, which I really do not get what the hell that's for. Then you go back to their milli. Back to voltage. There we go. Um, then you have go over another one, and that's ohms. We'll just put the leads together. Um, then if you hit the select button, that goes to just a little thing where if it, you know, makes contact or somewhere if you're using it for circuit boards, if that's the shared point, this is great for fuses and other things that you need to, to know if they're making contact. And the next one is a diode checker. Um, I haven't really used that that much. And go all the way over and this is a stupid, uh, milli amp stuff I don't get it <laughs> I've never used it um, uh, it's very accurate uh, testing I'll get a battery out here and test it for you guys um, and if you reverse something it's no big deal it'll just tell you it's reversed uh, like some meters just completely will not work if you do that I'm gonna purposefully have it I got it Trying to get them to pop right here is a, and shoot this all at the same time is quite a pain in the butt. See there, it says negative 1.5 volts. Flip it around, and I get, if I can hold it on there, 1.5 volts. And it'll tell you if it's DC or AC. So, uh, this is a very good voltmeter. I really like it. Uh, I really, really like it. I would definitely buy one if you need something, especially if you're doing some solar stuff and you're up on the roof and, you know, makes makes life a little bit easier on you. Uh, you know, it is $30 and you can get these here, which this one was given to me for like 10 bucks, 10 $15. Um, I hate I hate having to manually put something in range, and then especially having hate having to do this, because this is not near as precise as uh, everything else is. Um, you know, you have to zero your your um, if you're going to use it for ohms, you got to zero it out every time. Put your leads together, and that one is off, so I need to adjust it. A little bit. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera down and adjust it. You have to uh, to zero it every time you use it. Something like that. Every time, and then you can use it. See if it'll make continuity with the tailgate. Yeah. So um, it's all right, but definitely like this better. Um, the only problem though with it is it takes little. 
this little button cell batteries first where this takes like two double A's or something like that um, so but it's a great little thing you can stick it in your pocket and go um, I use it all the time um, because the, the flute voltmeter that I normally use is my dad's spare at work. He's an elevator mechanic. So he has to keep that on his van most of the time. Um, every now and then I do borrow it, like if I'm doing glow plugs on a vehicle or something. Um, which is when I wish this actually had longer leads. Because um, then I could just test everything and go. And be able to leave those glow plugs in the vehicle. Without having to pull them out and take up more time. Um, generally I just replace them all. If I'm working on somebody's vehicle, I'll replace them all. Um, if they have the money to be able to replace them all, I replace them all. If not, then I just replace the one that's bad. So, um, and every now and then you gotta play with it to get it to shut right. Um, or just stay locked. But it's great because you can just throw it in your pocket. I mean, here's a here's a package of 24 AA battery box. You can stick that inside of it, just reference for size. So that's what I use. I um, hope that helps you out if you're looking at buying one. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I've had mine for probably a year now, and I've used it not every day, but I've used it a lot, and it holds up really great. So um, it is about $30, so it is kind of expensive versus getting something like this. But uh, if you need precise measurements, I would definitely get a digital one. So, there you guys go. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.